Hi guys, here's Stefan Laub again. I'm still in the COVID-19 lockdown here in Austria. I hope you're still also okay. Um, again, I tried to use the time and make a new video for you for Qtal Pro. Uh, today, we look at Redshift. Uh, I show you the brick scene I recently made for all the engines and I show you how to use that best in Redshift or any uh, Qtal Pro in Redshift. Uh, as you know, Redshift is a, uh, a GPU renderer. Uh, it has an auto baking uh, like also Octane. Uh, in Redshift itself, the auto baking is not so fast, to be honest, if you set the texture higher. So we recommend actually in Redshift to use the internal Qtile Pro Baker. If you go to a material, I have here extra made a simple C4D material, which I use just for the setup and I choose here 4K and a location on my disk and I say bake now and basically this bakes everything which I have in my shader here uh, into a seamless non-repeating uh, bitmap. It went very fast, just a few seconds, it's a multi-threaded baking so very fast and you only have to do that one time, render time or when you change something just press again bake now. I did the same also for the bump and for the displacement, in the reflection channel I use just a lighter version of the color so you can use that then uh, you can make this automatically in the redshift material. And when I go in the redshift material, maybe I render this stuff first here or let's open it first on the node. So, okay. Uh, I made a very simple node setup here. I'm not a native Redshift user yet, I must say. I'm still uh, looking at it. Uh, I hope I made this correct. Basically, I have the output, the surface and displacement output. For the displacement, I use here the displacement texture I baked. For the color and the reflection color with a cor color correct node, I use the baked diffuse and the baked bump here for bump map node. Okay, I close this and let's just render it. Uh, I said I use displacement also with an object node here. And uh, here I just had set the uh, tessellation, the geometry. Uh, where was it? Okay, somewhere. Displacement here, I enabled the settings. And basically you see it renders very, very nice and fast. And this is full 3D displacement, folded variation in detail with a never ending repeating stuff or actually visually not any visible uh, repetition. Yeah, that's because it's baked straight off, out of Tile Pro. Basically that's it. It's a very simple setup. I said I recommend make a helper mat, set up the Tile Pro you want. You can actually also render this material, the Cinema 4D material native in Cinema uh, in Redshift. Redshift is really great doing also on that. For the final output, I would put the baked stuff into Redshift uh, material with real nodes. That's of course the best. Uh, Redshift renders very, very, very fast. Uh, being on GPU and being biased. Uh, I hope you like this small video. It's uh, one of the very short video series just to give an overview. Uh, we start soon also the making off of scenes part by part. Then I will go into the settings here in detail how to make these bricks and stuff. It's also not complicated. You will see. Okay, I wish you good evening and we see you soon next time.